Hey, this is YBR with BeamNG Drive, and today we're going to be taking a look at the giant chain, which is based on the giant flail, but instead of having a spike ball on one side, you have another vehicle attachment point. So that means you could put a vehicle on both sides of the chain and then have some fun with that. So on one side, we're going to have the beater version of the Ibishu Kovet, which does not have a tow hitch by default, so we got to add that on. Then we're going to line it up like so, go forward a bit, and then back it up. Right there, that looks good. Reset point attach chain perfect now we're going to go to this truck and we're going to swap it out for a bigger truck so we're going to get the d35 v8 four-wheel drive extended cab version of this and we got it in sunset purple which looks a little bit bluish to me but if the game wants to call it sunset purple then i'll let it call it sunset purple we're going to line it up with the chain just like we do with the COVID, although we have to do it slightly differently to actually get there because we were lined up different so we'll respawn it right there and then we're going to attach the chain to the truck line up the camera so we can see both of the vehicles and away we go so for now we're just going to pull it along we're not going to crash it into anything just to see how fast we can possibly pull this thing and the answer is pretty fast actually we're up to 50 miles per hour already and that was through a little bit of a bumpy terrain should be able to hit 60 before we get to the end of the map over there yep 60 so we got a lot of speed here now you just gotta have some fun with this. So we got the Covet, we're flinging it about. And, oh, it's flinging me about a little bit. All right, let's try to bring it in here and we're gonna swerve through here with my car, but I'm almost certain the Covet's gonna hit one of the cubes. Or it'll hit right there. Come on, can we pull it up? Can we pull it up? Come on. We need more power. We need more power. Let's make it have more power then. We're gonna go to the parts menu, go to frame engine and we're going to give it the stage three supercharger that's more power so we'll attach the chain once again and now we pull okay it didn't work did it nah that right again oh by the way be careful when you back up like that you generally do not want to do that because the chain could easily get stuck in your tires and since that's not working at all how about we just uh put the covet lined up with the actual ramp yeah, the Covet is pulling the D-Series. Why? Because the D-Series ain't pulling back. So there we go. Now in the two, we should be able to get this thing to hit one of those cubes probably. If it doesn't, that'll be amazing. Well, I'm going to hit a cube soon. Oh, there we go. It hit a cube and it pulled me out of the air so I would get hit into those cubes. I was going to make it. And the Covet's like, no, you're not going to make this. No way. And in this situation, I really don't know how we'd get out of here. So we got to just reset everything. And of course, the pickup truck's over here. So you got to bring it back over to here with the magic of teleportation. We just line it up. That should be good enough. Set that as the reset point. Grab the chain with the tow hitch. Go to the covet. Line it up with the new position of the chain. Attach that. And then go. So this one, we're already hitting 50. Hitting 60. 70 yeah much faster with the state street supercharger as you would expect really just yanking this thing around now i gotta find something fun to do with all this speed the question is just what for now we're just gonna drag it around though and let it bounce all over the place uh oh it got me again see sometimes the car can just bounce it away when you're going around a corner where it can spin you out it just happens can we swerve it through here without hitting anything let's see now, i really don't care if it doesn't hit anything but hey it's an achievement Cooling overheating. I got the biggest, baddest truck out here, and it can't do this. What a disappointment you are. And it looks like the chain got a little bit stuck in their bumper. Not a big concern. So right now, I'm just going to let my truck cool down. Because apparently, it's overheating. Might be because I supercharged it too hard, but whatever. Okay, good. Now, let's see if we can fit through here. We're going to get a little bit of a swerve to the trailing COVID. And got it. Ooh, that's actually pretty difficult to do. Making an impact hard enough where you could pull off the chain is not easy. That has to have been a huge impact. And it's, well, so huge, in fact, that, uh, yeah, that Covet's on fire. Can we attach it still? <laughs> that's like the dumbest question ever, but can we? I think we might be able to just reattach it. I don't know. Let's see. Go to the Covet. Can it move at all? Nah, I can't. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see. No, it can't. So we got to line up the chain with the vehicle itself. Is the tow hitch even still attached somehow? Somehow it is. I don't think you could actually have the tow hitch detach, really. Since it's basically welded to the frame. Now, to actually attach this, though, you'd have to do something really weird. You'd have to, like... 
Like, kind of like that, but not... Well, oh, that's close! That's close enough where I can just do this. Perfect. Well, okay, not perfect. Let me get a better angle on the camera. We're gonna pull this flaming wreck, whether it wants to be pulled or not. Can we grab from there? No, we can't grab from there. It's kind of annoying. Alright, fine. We'll just pull the covet to the chain then. Perfect. And the flame is as loud as ever. Did it actually just reattach on its own? Oh, it did. You didn't even have to actually hit the reattach button. Okay. And then keep on pulling. My flaming flail. This is not my flaming flail. I need a vehicle to hit, right? Nah, I don't have that kind of precision to do that. But you could just keep beating on that car forever, basically, then, with the, the right setup. Oh, that's... <laughs> I actually think I got my truck basically stuck right there. I think I could go back and forth, back and forth to get it out. And it's such a tight fit. There we go. Come on, COVID. I'm not done with you yet. You gotta keep going. See, like, right there, that was a pretty hard impact, too. And that time, the chain did not detach. That's why I was so surprised it detached on the other one, because that was just such a hard impact. I mean, the connection between the two vehicles is pretty strong. And Whoa! Okay! Yep. Not strong enough to uh, overcome that, though. Luckily, everything just respawns right here, nice and convenient. So how about we swap this out for something that's not a pickup truck, something that you normally wouldn't tow with, like a uh, SBR4. And we'll get the fastest stock version there is. I mean, there's the hill climb one, but that's not like a stock vehicle. That's like a, it's just, I mean, it's a, it's a vehicle that comes with the game, but it's not one you'd buy from the manufacturer is what I'm getting at. So anyways, a tow hitch. Will it reach? Yes, it will. And I did attach the tow hitch to the COVID already. And I'm just sticking with the COVID because it's light and it looks like the perfect car to like pull around because it's like so beat up and like perfect for that. So it's actually able to get up the speed pretty much as fast as the, uh, supercharged version of the pickup although wow i feel the weight of the covet much easier because my vehicle does not significantly outweigh it so that means going around corners and stuff is not gonna work out too well oh the covet actually kind of pulled me right there who do you think you are pulling me i'm the sbr4 all uh, right here the chain is stuck in their wheel so that's gonna slow me down a bit because that chain means the wheel will not rotate at all and it's also gonna make the covet slide really badly i I can't even control this right now. I don't have enough weight. I just need a much heavier vehicle for this to work out. Come on. Fix yourself. Fix it. Fix it. Nah, it's not going to fix itself. It is stuck in that wheel, and it's going to keep messing me up. I mean, somehow I'm pulling it along, though. I didn't expect to be able to keep pulling it. I'm going to try to do a jump right here with the COVID attached and I'm rolling over and they're not. You're supposed to roll over too, COVID. You know that? Wasn't supposed to just be me rolling over. Oh, and apparently that actually damaged the engine so it no longer works somehow. It didn't, it wasn't flooded, it was just damaged. I was not expecting that. Alright, so now, full reset and we're gonna do a little bit of a dumb thing. We're gonna pull out an Ibishu Pigeon. We're gonna get the GXR, which is a modded one that's a lot more powerful than a normal Pigeon. Got to add a tow hitch to it because it doesn't have one by default. And we're going to try to pull along the SBR4. Which probably will not work out well, but we're going to try it anyways. So, SBR attached. Let's go! Use that 13,000 RPMs! No, it can't do it. Hold on, let me go. Come on, come on, go, go, go! It just won't move. It won't move. It can't do it. It tried. It failed. So I guess we'll try something else then since that one's not working. So we'll reset everything. And then on one side, we will put a drag moonhawk. This should be interesting. We're going to put a drag moonhawk on one side. And then on the other side, we're going to bring back the big pickup truck. And in this situation, I genuinely have no idea which one would be stronger for pulling something. So we're going to find out by attaching it to both sides and then accelerating with both vehicles. Now, the pickup truck will overheat slower than the uh, drag vehicle, that's for sure. But, I don't know which one will actually yank the other one. So, stage three supercharger on, attach. And this one needs to have a tow hitch attached to it. I don't know if you can do tow hitch and wheelie bar. I guess you can. Do they actually uh, fit on properly? Nah, there's a little bit of a clipping issue. You're not supposed to probably have them both on, but I did anyways. Ha ha ha. So now it's attached on both sides. We're going to freeze physics. Accelerate. Accelerate. 
Accelerate. One of those was the chain. Doesn't matter. And then go. Which one will win? The traction. Traction wins over Pat Waxley. Wait. Oh, wow. That was a lot closer than I expected. But now my, my car is overheating. So the drag car won until its head gasket blew. And then it lost. But the, that was impressive. The way it was a real back and forth movement between two such significantly different vehicles. That was awesome. So now that the truck is won, it's actually overheated too, trying to just pull so hard. It's crazy how fast those things overheated doing that. So here we go. We're going to just try to... Oh! Nope. It's flipping on me. It's not what it was supposed to happen, but hey. There's a good hit. Are you still flipping or are you going to just slide? If you're going to slide, I'm bored of you. All right, so I'm bored of you, so we're going to reset everything. So here's another dumb idea. That one is the drag, what was it, the Moonhawk. So what if we did a drag Barstow versus a drag Moonhawk? Would there be a significant difference? Find out. I'm pretty sure they're going to be basically identical. Like, it might inch in one vehicle's direction, but it's going to be so similar it won't make a difference because I think they have basically the same amount of power and the same type of wheels. But I don't really see there being a huge difference here, but... I gotta find out. You ever wondered which one of these could pull the other one? We will know. So power, power. And I know it's not like perfect because the chain has slack in it and stuff beforehand, but it's good enough. So what? Really? Apparently that is just, I did not expect that. I did not expect. And <laughs> now it's on fire though. It's on fire. I mean, both of them are overheating really, really badly. So here's another dumb question. Which one's going to fully overheat first and have the engine totally die? The fireball or the loser? And that's their new nicknames. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. So when you have really fat tires, that can happen kind of easily. And <laughs> we're going to both be upside down. How does that even happen? It's like a nunchuck almost flipping me over like that. Well, now I know my answer to my question, so we'll reset everything and play around with something else. How about, it's another dumb thing we could do. A very fast version of an old car, well, the fastest stock version of an old car, versus a slow version of a modern car. That might be interesting. So, tow hitch on. On. Didn't work the first time. Attach. And over here, we're going to use the Pessima and it's going to be front wheel drive so it really gives it even more of a disadvantage and we're going to get just the regular 1.8 DX which doesn't have a tow hitch by default so we got to add it on nice that the tow hitch is usually in the same spot it's on the bottom of the body menu before the sub menus you can kind of remember where it's at so there we go attached up accelerate accelerate go oh the Pessima got like traction control trying to save it this one, no traction control at all. Just brute power. So this is kind of weird. It go, it's going into neutral and being all weird. So what if I put it to automatic and I just stuck it in drive? We're going to give it a fresh start because that's not a fair competition anymore. So we're going to do that with both of them, basically. We're going to stick them both in drive and see what happens. So automatic, drive, and then automatic. Attach it up. And... Drive, freeze physics, accelerate, accelerate, and go. Park and brake off. Don't think that would have made much of a difference. It's a pretty substantial victory by the burn side. So maybe we need a more powerful Pessima. I mean, with the front wheel drive disadvantage, that's pretty big. So we're going to go sport version of the Pessima to really give it a chance. That's the 2.7 LX V6 version. Much more power. But can it put the traction down to be able to pull? That is truly the question. So tow hitch on. Attach. Attach. And make sure it's arcade, not arcade, automatic and drive. And I don't know if I need to do automatic and drive on this one, but I'm going to do it anyways, just in case. So freeze physics. Accelerate. Accelerate. Ooh, that is surprisingly equal. Like, that's 
they're, they're basically perfectly equally matched. Neither one is actually moving. And I'm making sure the parking brake's not on on one of them still. Nope, parking brake's off on both. It's just a perfect and fair fight. And it's so funny, though, just how different the vehicles can be, yet they're so equal in this stupid arbitrary measurement. All right, so let's go and tame the vehicles. Can we just pull? So I think maybe part of the problem is, is neither vehicle is really strong enough to pull the other one too much, so they both kind of just stop in their tracks. That's kind of the issue, isn't it? Well, no, this one's able to pull it pretty easily. It's It really is just the other one was able to counter that just enough to make it where neither vehicle can move. All right. So that's about all I want to do on grid map, but we can go ahead and pop over to a few other maps for a little bit of fun. So what if we uh, attach myself to a vehicle on Utah and then I just told them to drive and then I'll see what they do. And we're going to get pulled by a vehicle we haven't used in this video yet. So let's do a gravel roamer off-road edition. We're going to tune it just a little bit. We'll probably give it a little bit stronger engine and that's it because I think the off-road suspension should be all right for this. So we'll just stage three supercharger because stage two wasn't enough. And then we're going to give it the six-speed transmission just so it has an extra gear to mess around with. And we're going to tow the Abishu Miramar and we're going to use this one that's modded that is basically the same as a normal one, but it comes with the tow hitch already attached, so it's just a small extra convenience. No modifications needed to that then. And then we're going to grab the giant chain, spawn it up, and then we're going to move it into a better position because that's kind of an awkward position, so we'll just place it right about there. Reset it so it's nice and straight. Going to go grab the Roamer. Wow, that thing squatted so hard right there, I didn't expect that. Uh, anyways, I go grab the roamer, put it right here. So I have no idea if the uh, it'll squat too hard when it's trying to pull the uh, Miramar, though. Might be interesting. We'll reset it right there. And if that is the case, we can always just swap out the off-road suspension for, like, a regular heavy-duty suspension. We'll see what happens, though. Miramar going to be parked right there. Park it. And attach. And attach. So then we're going to go ahead and add a menu to the game. So we're going to go to apps. Plus... AI control, just slap it right there. And we're gonna just tell them, go whichever way you want. And I'll see what happens to my car. Okay, well that was fast. Keep going, keep going. Ha! <laughs> and I'm on fire already, and am I stuck? No, we're still going. Man, they're doing a great job of mangling the car up. I couldn't even do that. Oh no, the chain got in their tires though. That's a death of the vehicle right there. It's not going to be able to do anything. The chain is stuck in its... Yeah. Well, it did great until it stopped doing great. Hey, stop driving. Wait, come back. Come back. You need to attach your trailer hitch. The so double attach. And I'll put them in a little bit of a different position on my own. Hopefully, I, uh, I don't wreck the Miramar. Maybe it's just hard not to wreck it when you're driving on a road versus the wide openness of grid map. Yeah, actually, you, you really can't do too much to keep it on the road, can you? The one thing the AI isn't going to be good at is being aware of what the chain's doing. Because right there, I went right just because the chain was basically making me. So random. And oh, they just floor it. Just right out the gate. Time to go. See, they are not aware of what's going on with that chain at all. So they will do some dumb things like go into that corner way too fast. With the Miramar sliding all out of control. They'll fling it into there and... Come on, keep pulling. I love how the car in the rear just gets so obliterated and then the one in the front still looks perfectly fine. Like, I'm sure there's going to be something wrong with its frame after something like that, but it still looks so okay and it's hilarious. And uh-oh. Well, it got stuck once again. So the AI, not that good at pulling it along because they just get the chain stuck in their wheels too easily. So now we're going to finish this up at Leap of Death, and we're not going to throw just the chain down at Leap of Death. We're going to actually attach two cars and throw them both down Leap of Death at the same time and see what happens. So let's go ahead and load it up if I can find it. There it is. So I'm not exactly sure how hard it's going to be to actually attach the two vehicles up. Hopefully this little flat area right here will be enough to do it. So first, pickup truck, park it right there, and we'll use that truck. I see no reason why not to. We'll grab a chain, spawn that up. And then we're going to also attach, how about an ETK i-series? Don't know if any of these come with a tow hitch by default, so we'll just go the Evolution, which will have the most amount of power out of the stock ones, and then we'll throw on a tow hitch onto that. I'm pretty sure you can add a tow hitch to that. I think you can add a tow hitch to everything. Yep. So tow hitch on. 
We'll reset it on the tow hitch. So if I want to do another run, it's nice and easy to reattach it. And we'll do the same thing with the pickup. We'll attach it right there or respawn it right there. I mean, so attach and attach, and then we're going to freeze physics, accelerate with both vehicles. And hopefully they'll fall off of this kind of in sync a little bit. That's pretty close. Whoa. The truck almost tried to stop it from happening. I series is having none of that. So we're just going to stay way zoomed out on the I series because I'm pretty sure if we're on the chain, it would be really jittery. So this should work fine. And this actually seems a lot more violent when you do it like this. Like a lot more violent. Oh, I mean, we got like down halfway through the cliff and that's two obliterated cars right there. So we'll do this one more time because I thought that was pretty fun. So attach, attach. And then once again, we're going to do the double accelerate. This time, okay, the different angle. Perfect. And this time we'll stay on the truck instead of the I-Series. Uh, now they're actually kind of staying grouped together, which minimizes the effect of the chain. I'm sure after this bounce, though, there's a little bit more violence to it. Although that one, just a lot less violence overall, but still a pretty good amount of destruction. I'm just waiting for anything interesting to happen with the chain. Actually, it's... Oh, there's a little bit of a yank. But you see, even though these are some pretty harsh yanks, the chain is staying attached. Like, I was really surprised the one time it didn't. And I think that will do it for the chain. So until next time, this has been YBR. I'll see ya.